Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie Kay. Welcome to the July installment of the 2021 Craft Vault Collab hosted by Poet Spice. This collab is all about creating projects with older items in our craft stash or craft vault. There are a number of talented collaborators in this collab who will be creating projects with all sorts of craft supplies from their vault. I do have links listed below in the description box for their channels along with our hostess Poet Spice. In case this is your first time checking in on this collab, this is a year-long collab and our videos do post on the third Friday of each month. So get ready to be inspired to use up your craft stash. So for this month's project, I did create some really cute little mini journals and I was inspired by another YouTuber. Her name is Cori Dahman and her YouTube channel name is Cori Dahman Creating with Scraps. She does a lot of... Um, creating with paper scraps and ideas for using up your paper scraps, specifically for, mostly for journal making, um, is what her channel kind of revolves around. And again, she created these really cute mini journals using paper from Tim Holtz. And the journals that she created were using the wallflower paper pad. And so I did dig out my wallpaper paper pad, and I also had a correspondence one from Tim Holtz. And she specifically used um, their sheets in there that have like little three by four journal cards on them. And so that's what she used for her pages in her journal. And so I decided to kind of do the same thing, except for my layouts are definitely different than hers. Um, but the idea for the little mini journals and using the Tim Holtz paper did come from Corey. So I did want to give her credit for that. And I will also link her channel in the description box below so that you guys can easily find her channel. And I will definitely link the specific video so it's easier for you guys because she has a ton of different videos. And so I did create three of those journals. Two of them I did the correspondence paper and then this one is the wallflower one. And so they're all very similar. Um, I did use some, some ribbon I wrapped around it and I had these cute little tags that I made. I'm also in a collab where we use up our um, small six by six paper pads and so these were some tags I created in that collab and so I was using them on these journals. I did use a cute little Sizzix die on the front and I'd stamped the word journal. I'm not quite sure which um, company that stamp is from and I did some little crochet lace on the sides. And so the layouts in these journals are all very similar. It's just kind of the paper that's different and I know in Corey's um, video, she called them like little event journals that you would maybe take with if you're going out like on a long weekend or something. I think they'd also, like I said, work really good for like a purse journal. Or again, if you had a small little trip planned, it would work great. And so I tried to leave spots on all the pages where you could journal, like you can journal on here on this back part. And then I tried to add little journal cards that either I stamped. So this was part of a larger stamp that I cut apart um, just because it didn't, it was too big for the pocket. But um, you can write kind of where you're exploring and discovering and notes and then of course journal on the back side. Um, I made a little envelope and there's some tea dyed paper in there. I'm not going to take that out, but some different tags. Some of it came from paper scraps from the paper collection and then also just other stuff I had, random junk journal stuff that I've had in my stash just to use for little pockets and tucks and stuff. So um, here I had a little die cut that looked kind of like a little scroll which I thought would be fun to journal on. And I picked this die up at a rummage sale a while back. And then just another little ephemera piece. Um, some of these I did sew on some laces, like this lace I sewed on. This one I had some little envelopes and I put, stamped one of the Tim Holtz postcard stamps on there. I thought that was kind of fun because then you can turn it around and journal on it or write on it. And then you can also flip it up and of course write on it. And then on the inside I just put some tea dyed paper. I'm not going to open it up, but then you can also journal on that. Um, here it's a flip so you can journal right there on that pocket plus it's a pocket and again I just stuck ephemera into the different pockets. This one does flip up 
and you can journal on and then also journal on the back side of that. And then when you flip this one over, um, again I did some stamping, it's just some tea dyed paper that you can open up and journal on. Plus then this flips up and so you could add another tea dye piece of paper if you wanted to journal on or you could put a little photo or glue down a receipt or something on there. So I just left that plain. Here is another little um, telegraph ephemera piece that I had. I think that came from a Seven Gypsies kit. But you can it's light enough that you could journal on it. You can flip it over and journal. And again, there's still a spot here to add some more ephemera or a picture or something from whatever you wanted to use the journal for. If you were using it as a trip, you could put, again, a receipt or a ticket from some an event that you went to. Um, a couple more tags that I added in the back sides. I do try and leave the back sides of all my tags plain so that you can journal on them. And then here's a little envelope that opens up. And so when you open this up, this you can turn it and write on the pages I did sew those in. So it's kind of like a little mini journal inside that envelope. I thought that was kind of a fun idea. And that came from a cutting die. I don't know off the top of my head which one that that one is. And here's another little pocket and I put a tag in there. And then also just a little mini, another little mini journal. So that was the first one and then I'm just going to go through just one of these. It's basically pretty much close to the same layout. It's the same paper but I just rearranged it differently in these two. And so um, like I said just similar layouts just different paper. This is that correspondence paper. And in this one, it was kind of fun for me. Um, I did add some more of these vintage stamps, post stamps that um, came from a set from my dad. My dad used to collect them as a boy. And so he gave me all of his and they're really not worth anything. So he said, told me that I could just use them in um, my crafting projects. So I've been slowly starting to incorporate them into more things. Some more tags. The back sides are plain so you can journal on. This one has a little envelope with some tea dyed paper in it again to journal on. Um, another little ephemera piece. This one, um, the scroll to write on and I chose to put the feather over there. More postage stamps. Um, this one, I instead of creating a flip, I created a belly band. And so this does open up again with some tea dyed paper in it. And this one flips up. And again, some more ephemera to write on. And this little piece flips up again to journal on the back side. And I left that blank to add whatever you wanted to with washi tape or a picture or a ticket or something. If you use it again for like a little event or something. And again there, there's a blank spot there to add. Um, this is still light enough. You could journal in between the little scripts there or put another piece of paper or glue something down and a spot to write. And same with here too. You can add more ephemera. Um, I did another one of those same pockets that opens up and it has the journaling spot. I guess it's not a pocket. It's an envelope. Some tags. This one I did do a little collaging on that one. And another cute little book. And another little tag to journal on. And so again this one's very similar. It's just different um, organization of the same paper. So I'm not going to open that one up because you guys will probably be bored if you see another one. So again I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today. 
Don't forget to open up the description box, check out everyone else's channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.